tell you a story from one of my favorite books, The Adventures of Binky Sears. They built the church, but didn't put a bell in the belfry for 131 years. I'll tell you the story. My friend Binky told me these glasses look ridiculous. As an I'll tell you the story on New Hampshire Chronicle. I grew up with Binky Sears right up here in Milford, New Hampshire. Born in Brockton, Massachusetts, he moved to Ohio and later here to New Hampshire. There's a tree in this neighborhood that no one seems to know the importance of. I'll tell you the story. Fern had gone to bed, leaving Binky alone downstairs, watching a little TV and nibbling on a fake Newton. So, you want a story, do you? Well, maybe you should learn to read. There was once a man who dropped a stone on Main Street in Gothstown. I'll tell you the story. Decided I'd try one of those new plant-based impossible whoppers. Put the order in. Girl said to me, you want bacon on that sandwich? Let me tell you a little story about a man named Jed. So I was talking to Pinky the other day, and he said his friend Alex, you know Alex, of course. Alex is on the other side of the town. A huge brown bat suddenly appeared, swooped down from parts unknown. Pinky released a girlish shriek. I ran into Fritz Weatherby. Fritz wore a fuchsia scarf and tan wool coat. For sale, three bedroom home, new roof, fresh paint, flying mammal included. Fern asked, did you enjoy your afternoon? Pinky smiled and said he had. Fern grinned an even bigger smile and said, she did too. He became a part of New Hampshire's culture in his own special way. I'll tell you the story tonight. Nothing left to say after that. Those were all great. It feels like Fritz is here with us, right? Uh, we also want to run through our top five. Uh, we got some good ones, so these were hard to choose. But coming in at number five was Meg McGovern Hamilton. Hello, I'm Fritz Weatherby. And today, I'm going to tell you the story of Landau Blue School. This one-room schoolhouse was built in 1858 and is one of the last remaining 200 schoolhouses in the USA. So I feel like if Fritz Weatherby was ever on the Muppets or on Sesame Street, that's what he would look like right there. He would be blue, I suppose. Not bad color for him. It's kind of his alter ego. I think the resemblance is kind of uncanny, and the voice yeah, as well. Uncanny. Great That's the word job. I was we of. love to see that. Uh, now, number four. This is Kendra Adams. And when they were here at the hotel, or there at the hotel, they would go around and see the various sights and things that were to see, like Purgatory Rock. And this, when you see this, this was the most popular destination for people who came to the hotel. This is right on the new Boston line, and this is Frog Rock. Wow. I feel like that if you closed your eyes, she sounded just like Fritz Weatherby. And I especially love the Inspector Gadget jacket. I, I love that too. Her look was just perfect. She is a star lip syncer. I want to know how many times she listened to that, <laughs> to do that. And the gestures, she has Fritz gestures down just perfectly. But Frog so, Rock, that is one of his... Uh, most popular stories, I think. And she recreated there an iconic New Hampshire Chronicle moment right there. <laughs> Coming in at number three is Jenna Suwillow. Coming up, an uninvited guest at Dawn and Brenda's annual Independence Day barbecue on Amherst Street, an uninvited guest of the four-legged variety. I'll tell you the story on the Hampshire Chronicle. So I feel like that was perfect because Fritz would tell a story of a party and an uninvited guest, right? And I love the tri-corner hat right there, kind of uh, taking Fritz back in time. So that's a good one, I like it. And extra points for the historic house and a little bit of history mm -hmm. as well. We love it. Okay, number two, 
Mike Giacomo. I'm Fritz Weatherby, and tonight I'll tell you a story. When Old Man Johnson's barn burnt down in 1834, it took most of Keene with it. But what you might not know is that a horse named Massachusetts Misery ran out of that flaming barn. And running is what would make him famous. You see, his descendants would go on to win 14 triple crowns. I'll tell you more tonight on New Hampshire Chronicle. That was just awesome. His voice, the <laughs> accent, the look. And we should mention that Mike mm -hmm. is a city councilor in Keene. And I want to know more about Massachusetts misery and what happens. <laughs> uh, could Massachusetts misery still be running from Keene? I don't know. Extra points, by the way, for using the old New Hampshire Chronicle theme song there. And fun fact, that was actually edited, Aaron, by the mayor of Keene. How neat is that? That's cool. A team effort. Yeah. We love it. Team effort right there. Okay, you ready? Drum roll, please. Now for our favorite Fritz impression of 2020. <laughs> Paul Belfoy. In 1860, Senator Abraham Lincoln visited New Hampshire and paid a visit to the town of Dover. Meanwhile, Ethan Eben Cobb, an artist from Gonic and a Lincoln admirer, had created a tapestry of the Senator made entirely of pocket lint. When Lincoln made a speech at the Dover Town Hall, Cobb presented him with his creation. For some reason, Lincoln left the item behind, and it was then stored in the hall closet of the town historian. Here it is. That guy's amazing! I mean, yeah. that was Fritz. It seems like it was Fritz. He has the pacing down and everything, his voice perfect. Unbelievable. And Abraham Lincoln in pocket lint? Uh, some famous pocket lid right there. He's quite famous right now, I think. Congratulations to Paul Belfoy, our 2020 champion. And for that, you get absolutely nothing except for our heartfelt congratulations. And, and wait for it, Aaron, a message from this guy. So I played the video of Paul Belfoy doing his Abraham Lincoln in Lint story using my voice and Laura from the next room hollered, when did you do that? And I said, never. And she said, who the heck is that? And I said, my doppelganger. And she said, who? And I said, Paul Belfoy. And she said, I thought you said Applebanger. And I said, doppelganger. And she said, who? And I said, Paul Doppelganger. No, 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 no. It's Paul Belfoy. He's the winner of WMUR-TV's Fritz Doppelganger contest. So congratulations, Paul Belfoy. You get a Binky Sears mug, maybe two. And don't hold up any banks wearing a mask. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs>